Hello and welcome back to Train Simulator 2017 and you join us today in Oxford and today we are driving a very special train today because we've got the Flying Scotsman and the Tornado in a double header because you guys have been asking me for a long time to do a double header with the Flying Scotsman with the wind deflectors and two tenders with Tornado right behind her and this is gonna be a very special trip because we have to get from Oxford all the way to Paddington Station so it's gonna be a long long journey so buckle up your seats and get ready for a journey you guys will never forget because this is gonna be one heck of a trip and yes this is the Flying Scotsman with the amazing sound pack if we just quickly show you the whistle again Love that whistle, fantastic, fantastic. And for a treat, we have got some special coaches because if we press five, we can actually see the Flying Scotsman and we're literally right behind Tornado's tender, which is actually a really good view. Right, so same old, same old, let's get Flying Scotsman and Tornado on the move. Let's put it in forward. That was reverse. So the brakes are off and I am ready to go. Just give her one more whistle to let people know that I'm ready to go. Tornado is ready. And away our journey begins in an amazing double header with Flying Scotsman, with wind deflectors, with two tenders, and right behind her is Tornado doing some amazing wheel slip. And look at the sparks flying off the track. This is going to be one heck of a journey. And while we're moving, I just want to quickly say thank you to you guys for suggesting this amazing idea. I've never actually thought to do a double header with Flying Scotsman and Tornado before, but here we are now. So this is actually your, you, you, this is what you're doing right now. This is your idea. This, I, I, I wasn't ever going to do this, but here I am now. An amazing consist with Flying Scotsman in the lead, followed by the most modern steam train of them all, Tornado. That's a good name for a steam engine. And sometimes I actually like pressing 5 and then zooming in to actually see the tenders of Tornado and Flying Scotsman's because this is actually a really cool view. Like, if we go around a corner, like a really tight one, we'll actually see the entire... Like, sometimes if we're lucky, we can actually see the actual locomotive. It's actually quite cool. I actually like this position. This is actually really cool. It's like Train Sim World a little bit. Ooh, I don't know about you guys, but this is actually a really cool shot of Flying Scotsman and Tornado going past right now. Ah, oh, maybe I should make this into a movie. It's only a bit of lag, but never mind. Ah, oh, look at those two. Those two just work great as a team, don't they? Those two do work as a good team. Two steam engines, and actually, I thought they were the same colour, but actually they're a different shade of green. I never noticed that before. Fantastic. Looking good. We've just hit 55 miles per hour, and we're still speeding up. With Tornado helping us behind, it actually is going really well, and I think we could actually... If we're lucky, touch 75 miles per hour. If we're lucky, of course. But with Tornado helping Scotsman, I think that's no problem at all. Look at that. We've just gone past 60 miles per hour, boys and girls or ladies or gentlemen and ladies. Who, it depends if whoever's watching. Signal's green and now we're past. Things are going well. And what a beautiful day. It's actually There's no clouds. The sun is shining bright. I'm a happy man today. It is, it is a lovely day for a great run for the steam world Woo! 70 it's like the scene from back to the future with the delorean when they have to get the delorean up to 88 miles per hour but for some i have that f it's for me it's like that feeling where the tornado is actually pushing the flying scotsman up to 88 miles per hour it's 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 like that back to the future feeling i got i don't know why i've got that feeling but i, I just have that feeling if you guys think I'm odd, weird, crazy, then just put your comment answer in the comments below. I can't even say that right. Wow. That's how crazy I am, guys. Note to self. Hashtag LazyJet Crazy. Right, let's see how Tornado is doing so far. How are you holding up there, Tornado? Ah, oh, she is holding up well. Given Tornado that pull, and Tornado's given the Scotsman the push. The push and pull um, rhythm, if you guys know what I mean. You guys don't know what I mean, but... 
it it gives it the the extra boost. But but bear in mind, Flying Scotsman has got an extra tender, which is you know slowing her down because it's full of water, so it's it's very heavy, very weighty. But we're doing 80 miles per hour. Ha <laughs> ha! 80 is good for a steam train. Actually, 80 is very good. I mean, we're almost touching 90. Well, I think we could be able to touch 90 if we're lucky. If I had to be honest, I was only expecting 75 miles per hour, but look, we're almost done almost 10 miles per hour faster than that. That's incredible. Just let some steam out so Scotsman can actually build up the boost again. It's 84 miles per hour and still speeding up. This is just incredible. How is the... I, I thought Tornado would help Scotsman out, but I didn't know it would get Scotsman up to this much speed. These two are working well together. 85 miles per hour. We're almost at 90. Now, here's a sight that no one will ever see in, in their lifetime. <laughs> that felt good. That felt good. Tell you what, if we just look at Tornado... Yes, Tornado's given Scotsman the helping hand she needs. 88 miles per hour, Dark. We're at 88.4 miles per hour. Oh, no, scratch that, 88.5. Bit of bad news, we're losing steam rapidly. Oh, and there's the exclamation mark to warning us that we're speeding, and there's a yellow signal, which means we should, logically, we should slow down, actually, which because there must be danger or might be a tight corner. We might accidentally derail, so I think we might actually have to... Ooh, we might actually have to slow down. We might need Tornado's help to... Apply our brakes. Tornado, would you mind giving us a little helping hand? I think you can. Apply the brakes and stop accelerating. Now, all we're doing is just rolling and applying the brakes. We're not doing anything. Right, we've just gone past the wibbly-wobbly, tighty-corny stuff. And now we're back on the main line, so now we can apply power and try again. Look at that, we're back to 18 miles per hour already. Like, nothing was there. Like It's like it doesn't even have a problem. Everything's good. The speed is good. Uh, steam pressure is good. Everything's good. Everything's well so far. And we just press shift 2 so we can actually get a cool leaning out shot of the cab. Tornado looks good if we press 5 quick. Yep, Tornado is looking good if I do may say so myself. Let's have a look and see if she's actually okay. Yeah, it's Tornado is fantastic. Ah, these two engines. They should actually do this in real life. I don't know about you guys, but I think they actually actually try this in real life with a double header. Uh, oh, and um, exclamation mark to warn us that uh, danger is up ahead. But uh, there's no problem. Everything's all good. We're not we're not doing that fast anyway. We're doing 80.9 miles per hour, and the speed limit is 125. So nothing to worry about. But seriously, they need to actually think about doing a double header like this: Flying Scotsman and Tornado, the world's greatest steam train of them all. And the world's most modern steam train of them all. I think that's will be a great, great consist. Uh, we have a bit of bad news here, fellas. I'm afraid we might be losing a bit of more steam, which means we're starting to slow down just a little bit. But doesn't matter because we need to stop at a station anyway. I uh, don't know where we are at the moment. We are uh, here. Oh, we haven't travelled. No, we haven't travelled that far. It's not very impressive, is it? I have a feeling that we've got a big journey ahead of us. But that, I'm afraid, has to be in another story. Some people stop and think. What is better? An A1? Or an A3 class? Me personally, I like them both. It doesn't matter which company you prefer, LNER or British Railway. To me, they're both special and that's all that matters. Doesn't matter who's the fastest or who's more famous. Almost modern. Every Steam Loco has its own personality. I think Tornado and Fly Scotsman share that personality. Fly Scotsman or Tornado? Which one is better? 
to me. I think they're both great. <laughs>